I want to show you guys how to do infinite pads in Ableton. If you've picked up any pads or how to, to do that in Ableton. So this is what I've got set up. I'm going to turn this. Okay, there we go. All right, let me show you what I'm working with. So what I do at my church, um, if we don't have a backing track or anything that we're working with, we'll have this session. That way anybody can come in, copy and paste what they need, whether that's the click, whether that's the pad. And the pad's going to fade in, pad's going to fade out. Let's check it out. Cool. And then when you stop it, it fades right out. All right, let me show you how to do this. So go to your uh, drums, go to drum rack, drag it over. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to go to uh, go to your pads. So we're going to start. I'm going to start with this Christmas patch. It was free from last year. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to drag. Let's drag A. It doesn't matter to which one. We're going to drag it here. Let's go ahead and, and drag a different one. I've been really liking um, this black hole textures. I got my pads from that worship sound. They do sales um, on almost every major holiday. Uh, it's great for for that. So we're going to, uh, we've got both of these here. Perfect. So the next thing, we're going to click this patch. We're going to go to classic mode, take voices down to one, um, hit loop button. That's going to get us a fade. I don't want it to be that long. I feel like this helps save CPU. I don't really know if it's true, but it doesn't need to be that long. It's like 10 minutes there. We're going to make it down to less. You can make it even less than that. We're going to fade it out. Probably we're just going to do eight point. Um, let's see, eight point. Yeah, eight point five nine. Then we're going to take this release. We're going to take it down to four point. We're going to go a little bit. We're going to go like maybe 4.77 that works do the same thing to this one you're going to do loop do voices one uh fade it up to well that's fine and then same thing on the release take it down to okay 4.77 all right then i think that's that's there so then double click here double click here actually we're going to take this out so on this you're going to draw your midi note first thing is we got to move this here actually it's the other one Move this one here, move your flag back. Same thing here, move this one here, and move that one, actually move this here. No, wait, yeah, 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 right there. Okay, so that's gonna get it looped. If you don't do that, it'll just keep trying to hit the note every time. So we've already got that. Draw your note, this is where you want it to be. For that one, we're gonna copy. So I don't know what key this is in, but let's say Christmas A. We're gonna copy this. I'm going to paste it here. We're going to go Christmas B and then double click that. We're going to change it here and let's see if this worked. Ready? We got to mute the other pads. That Let's mute that real quick. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that's how you do infinite pads, and you can just go on and keep doing that every single time. One thing that I do is I do different drum racks. Uh, then you can save your drum racks afterwards for the pads. So to do that, uh, you can do it group, and then add like another chain, and then you can use the chain selector. I can do that in another video. I'll show you how I have mine set up. I've got these four pads set up each there, and then they all are triggered differently so that I can go back and let me take that off and I can play each one and they'll all fade in um, every single time. You can also, what I have on this one too, you can also just add a quick filter I like and a reverb and you just map that. So that's usually after your chain and those are what that is there. So you can add more things that you want to it. Another thing that I do at our church with this setup is we will do something where we'll do like C for click only, and that's where we'll solo the click. To do the same with pad, where you don't know what song you're going into, but it's not the same tempo. You can hit you can hit P on the keyboard, and it will go to just pad. And so that's how we do it. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys want. I'll show you guys how to how I do my click setup.
another time makes things really easy uh, to change, especially if you're not wanting to do tracks every single week and you don't um, have multi-tracks, you just want the click or the pad. That's how you do infinite pads in Ableton. Mm -hmm.